Hello and welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at turbofan engines and the functioning of autothrust. First, let's take a look at gas turbine engines. On an aircraft, a gas turbine engine should produce the required thrust and run different pumps and generators. There are different types of gas turbine engines such as turbojet, turboprop, turbofan and turboshaft. In this video, we will look at the gas turbine engine which is used in most of the commercial jet aircraft, the turbofan engine. We will consider a turbofan engine having two shafts, which is also called as a twin spool turbofan engine. This is shaft 1 and this is shaft 2. Let's break down the engine and look at the function of each component of this engine. The low pressure shaft. This is also called as the N1 shaft. It consists of a fan, a low pressure compressor and a low pressure turbine installed on a single shaft. An axial flow type low pressure compressor is normally used in turbofan engines. The high pressure shaft. This is also called as the N2 shaft. It consists of a high pressure compressor and a high pressure turbine connected on a single shaft. This compressor is also an axial flow type compressor. This shaft may be designed so that it rotates in the same direction as the low pressure shaft or in the opposite direction of the low pressure shaft. The combustion chamber this consists of fuel nozzles, igniters and the combustion chamber. The fuel nozzle provides a spray of fuel that mixes with the air. The igniters are used to start the ignition process. It can be cut off when the flame becomes self-sustaining. The burning of the fuel air mixture takes place in the combustion chamber. There are different types of combustion chambers such as can type, annular type and the can annular type. The nozzle. This is where the high pressure gases will expand causing an increase in the speed and a decrease in the pressure of the gases at the exit. These components together are called as the core of the turbofan engine. As the air enters this core section, the pressure of the air increases as it passes through the low pressure and the high pressure compressor stages. This is required to improve the combustion process. Inside the combustion chamber, the fuel is introduced which mixes with the incoming air and is burnt with the help of igniters. The pressure and the temperature will increase in this section. The hot gases enter the turbine stages where the pressure reduces. As the gases expand in the high pressure and low pressure turbines, they begin to rotate. This rotation is used to drive the high pressure and the low pressure compressors. The gases then expand further in the nozzle section which increases the speed at the exhaust and creates some of the thrust force. The engine bypass. The bypass section also increases the overall thrust produced by this engine. Most of the air which enters the engine is pushed backwards by the fan through the engine bypass section. 
depending on how much air enters the bypass section, the engine may be classified as high bypass, medium bypass and low bypass turbofan engines and used on different aircraft. The thrust force. The total thrust that is created by the engine is because of the acceleration of air inside the engine. This acceleration causes an increase in the speed of the air coming through the core and the bypass section of the engine. Based on Newton's third law, the air that is pushed out of the exhaust will create a forward push on the engine. This is called as the thrust force. The thrust produced by the engine is increased or decreased by regulating the fuel flow in the combustion chamber. Now we will look at the auto thrust function on the engine, which may be also called as the auto throttle. Here, the aircraft's flight computers control the amount of thrust that is produced by the engine. This is done by adjusting the fuel flow into the combustion chamber. An increase in the fuel flow will increase the thrust produced and a decrease in the fuel flow will reduce the thrust produced. The flight computers may get inputs from the pilot who can select a particular speed or from the autopilot to adjust the aircraft speed according to the phase of flight. The auto thrust may function in two modes, thrust mode or speed mode. The thrust mode is applicable during climb or descent phase where the auto thrust controls the engine's thrust to achieve a desired vertical speed. The speed mode is applicable in the cruise phase where the auto thrust controls the engine such that it maintains a particular aircraft speed. So that's all for my video on the turbofan engine and the auto thrust function. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, do subscribe and you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.